Welcome to the Easy Technosis video tutorials. In this video, we will see how to enter walk-in or new reservation in Easy Absolute Cloud-based PMS. Let's quickly log in to Easy Absolute Front. Upon logging in, you will see the stay view, which shows all the rooms configured in the PMS along with the reservations existing in those rooms. To make a walk-in reservation, there are two ways. The first one is, simply clicking on the calendar, and dragging the mouse button to the date, that needs to be booked. Once, you release the mouse button, the quick walk-in screen will appear where you need to fill in the particulars to save the reservation. The second way is, open the walk-in or new reservation screen by clicking the options under front office menu. The quick walk-in screen opens up, asking for all the necessary details to fill. Let's select the check-in and check-out date of the guest by clicking on the calendar icon. Now, let's select the booking type. It can be a confirm inquiry or hold booking for confirm and hold booking it is mandatory to have inventories to book a room but for inquiry booking we can mid even if there is no inventory available for the booked category let's select the type as confirm here let us now enter the number of rooms to be booked for making a single reservation we must enter the number of rooms as one if there are more than one rooms booked it is considered as a group booking. Let's enter one in this box. Moving ahead, let's select the room type, rate plan, room number, adult, and child details from the available select boxes and following enter the guest details like guest name, mobile number, and email address. If a guest is a returning guest, enter the first few characters of the guest name here and click on the search icon. From the search result, we can select the required guest profile, or simply add the details of the new guest here. Let's enter guest details for the new guest here. Now please click the button confirm, to save the confirmed reservation. Let's say if you want to enter some more details of the guest, like identity, or business sources, or any other information. Please click on the More Options button before click on the Confirm Reservation. Now the detailed walk-in screen will open. Here you can see more fields that are not mandatory but you may like to keep those for record purposes. Let's see each of them one by one. The first block asking for guest information, which are like guest name address, and country. Along with this, you can also enter some additional information by clicking on the three vertical dots appearing here. Using the pick up and drop off option, you can set the pick up and drop off schedule for the guest on request. The next option available is remark, using which you can enter any additional remarks by selecting the type from the drop down menu and entering the description. Click on the Save button to save the remark. The Inclusion option will allow you to add inclusions or extra charges to the booking. You have to select the extra charge from the list of configured extra charges, along with the posting and charge rule. Click on the Save button to add the inclusion to the booking. The other options will allow you to add the meal plan or upload the guest image. Let's move ahead to the stay information and contact information section where you have to select the information as already shown for the quick reservation screen. Let's enter the guest name and proceed further. The next section, which is other information, allows you to enter the details like guest identity, VIP status, nationality, and gender. Now comes the billing information where you see this checkbox saying, Sellers Complimentary. Checking on this box, will allow you to sell the selected room as complimentary with zero rate. Which means that the guest does not have to pay for this booking. Coming to the next options, 
you can see three rate modes to select. Normal mode allows you to offer the rate, which you have already configured in the rates module in the system. In other words, you can say that these are the system defined rates. The contract mode will allow you to offer the special rates to the guests who are coming from travel agents and companies that are being offered the special rates. Before that you have to first define the special rates for all the separate sources of corporates or travel agents in the configuration panel. Then only when you are selecting contract in walk-in panel and selecting the source name Rates will apply accordingly whatever defined on the back end. The manual mode will allow you to offer any random rates, which you have to enter here in the box. Click on the tax inclusive checkbox if the entered rates are to be considered inclusive of taxes. The next particular to select is the built-to option. You can select any of these options depending on the requirement. Remember that the invoice will be generated on the name of the particular selected here. The payment mode is optional, which allows you to select the expecting payment mode from the guests. It can either be cash or credit. The cash option is only select if the guest is directly paying to the hotel. And following need to select the sub payment mode which is available in the list here. Credit option will be selected if any prepaid bookings are receiving from any travel agent or companies. For these bookings payment has already been received to the respective agents. So we have to select the credit option and follow select the source from which the booking is received. It will helps to post the charges under that ledger account. The next available option is the release date, where you can set a date for advance payment reminders. These reminders will be shown on the night audit operation under release reservation option. Moving ahead, we have the other options available, where you can select the company details, business source, market code. Also, we can select the travel agent from here. Let's now see the discount option, where you can offer a discount to the guest. We can select the discount types from the available list here and select the discount rule accordingly. Next is the payment option, where you can enter the advance deposit amount paid by the guest for the booking. All you need to do is select the payment type and enter the amount paid as deposit in number. Coming below, there are some options like print guest registration card, which allows you to define if the GR card should be printed for this guest upon check-in. If you want to hide the room tariff on the GR card, you can check the box suppress rate on registration card, which will show the rates with strike mark on the guest registration card. The we can select the print folio and print receipt options as per requirement. Upon clicking on the booking voucher, you can see the preview of the booking confirmation email that would be sent to the guest upon making the reservation. On the right hand side, you can see the add room option, which will allow you to add more rooms to the booking and convert the booking to a group booking. Let's now see the global options. It has an option accept CC info. This will allow you to keep the credit card information of the guest, which can later be used for charging the card to collect booking payment. Once all the details have been entered, we will have two options, either we can reserve a room, or direct check in the guest, if the arrival date is same with the current date. Let's click on the reserve button to make the confirmed reservation for this booking. That's all. The reservation has been made successfully. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video please click on the like button. Or if you would like to share your valuable feedback please write it on email address cm at